Yo, what is good, man? Y'all know who it is, man. It's the kid, man. The HBK Vlog Thought, man. The one and the only. And y'all, these are legit, man. They be faking it, but Lonnie, y'all ain't know how we rockin'. You know, ooh, we, we got a different type of it today. I got the Iowa Hawkeyes with me, by the way. You feel me? So if you if you part of the Hawkeye Nation, man, you should be familiar with this. You know what I'm saying? If the floor, even if you are a Florida Gator fan, you you just checking out. You feel me? Like you know, Florida be doing these type of videos, man. But this is a different type of series. You got the Heartland preseason show. It says season three, episode one. It says in the description, it's the season premiere of the Heartland preseason edition, featuring exclusive football, fall camp footage, and interviews with several stars. Hawkeyes, including quarterback Bit Pet Spencer Petrus, wide receiver Tyrone Tracy, center Tyler Lindenbaum, and defensive back or Matt Hankins. The way I need to say, you know what I'm saying? I need to get right pronunciating. So I need to just get right. I'm trying to get more familiar. Yeah, let's just tune. Let's just take it out, though, man. I'm ready. I'm excited. All right. So uh, this is a third down from our Wisconsin Ooh. game last year. A boy, uh, Big ten, Pat, man. We're up six to zero. I got on the 19 yard line so um, you know we're in field goal range but we'd love to score some points score a touchdown uh, so that we can you know slowly make this a two score game um, you know so I'll, I'll start it always starts up front so I'll start from the back view you, see, um, you know here we are communicating making sure right we're all pick, uh, picked up I like the, uh, this listen man and then for my athletes too man if you if you looking to go to the next level of any sport man watching film on yourself, on your, you know what I'm saying, objectives or your goals or what you striving to be, how how great you striving to be later in the future, man. Watching film is one of, one of them keys, bro. And reps, man, getting practice in, getting reps in, man. That's the number one way you get better and see your progression, man, watching film. All right, so take notes, man. If you want to be one of them athletes, D2, D3, it don't matter, bro. D1, you want to be All-American, you want to go to the draft, or what position, what put whatever sport you playing? It could be softball, cricket. <laughs> Just got, you know, take it serious. Pretty easy um, f assignment wise for the offensive line here. Five for five, and then the the tough part, um, the tough assignments on on Tyler uh, Goodson because he has to block the extra the extra guy. They're going to bring six in this play, um, so we have to be six for six with it and um, forty five for Wisconsin. So what he's saying is he's looking at six. They got to be six for six. You know, it's five on the line, offensive-wise. And then, boom, you can see right here, one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like it's a six-man pressure. So he's saying they want to be six for six. That means Tyler Goodson got to take one of these boys. It could be this outside edge or this inside man right here. But these two dudes, they got these two players. These two dudes, they either going to take him or him. Or this air rusher, this edge rusher, he gonna get taken on by TG, or the middle linebacker. You know what I'm saying? Or he might have to get out of his hands quicker and let the center take him. So let's see what he talking about though. He's a really good player. Uh, their linebackers, their inside linebackers, love to rush. They're very physical. So he's got a really big job here. And, um, and look, man, and this one they played really Wisconsin. Well and, um, so he's saying there. like this, this the Hartley. You know, protecting me, making sure that I have the opportunity to get series. this ball off, and then. You know, they, oh, this, this ball goes to Amir for a touchdown, five, but yeah, they uh, the, the big, so the big deal the, here the, is, the is Amir has, has a really great route. Uh, starts with his release. I mean, this Smith is a really, um, it just works great. You know, it gives him a little inside move, uh, which is is kind Look of that ball that boy bit pet through. Not exactly how this route is taught, but that's just a football player making a football play, and uh, hey, you know, he, he gets the the defensive back to, boy, to open that, boy that way. Uh, the rest is history with a guy that's as fast as you see the ball Amir, coming down like that in the um, torpedo you know, put the ball formation where spiral. Get it and that's how you, you know just know catch it for a touchdown. Diet, so um, it's a pretty good play by all 11 guys. Um, this is a big play in the game. You know, puts us up two scores. Uh, puts us up 14 after the two-point conversion. It's next, but um, look at that man being the safety as best I can. Put that it up being the leader. And, again, we talked about his route, but great catch, great body control. That's a that's a touchdown. Yay. All right, here we are, first and ten. It's 14-7, so it's a tight game. Uh, again, you know, we need to put points on the board, uh, help out our defense as best we can, and uh, you know, it's first and ten right after a really nice Tyler Goodson uh, run. You know, he got a, a, a solid chunk for a first, so you know, we're going to decide to take a shot. Um, you know, it starts this play. Uh, you know, obviously it's the, it's it's deep one to to Amir, but it starts with Sam. Oh, he's looking at the safeties um, on this one down here and. So you can see, man, them boys sent five again, five on five. And my boy TG, 
he held a look for the block, you know what I'm saying? But he just be being a little pray, he being the pass protector right there. And then you can see the two linebackers, you know they playing zone, but it look like they playing, man. Like, right here, you can see they look like they playing zone because they looking at the quarterback. They are looking at the quarterback the whole way. They playing zone. So this is what he's talking about. He's he looking at this route right here, occupying. If they playing zone, he trying to occupy this space to get this, this safety to cheat up a little bit. His route because he really does a good job of grabbing this boundary mm. safety because without this, right you know, over this the boundary top. safety is going to look up Amir coming through and he's going to help and double team him uh, and, and this ball won't go to him. But because of Sam's vertical release, I guarantee he's looking him right in the eyes. Um, look, bro, on here, the trying to, let, uh, trying to bro, get the safety to feel him, feel his route. Boy, but he snapped uh, really it good job by Sam he being unselfish and, and kind of helping and his buddy out. And again, this is Amir just using his speed. Um, he's just going to run to the pylon as fast as he can, and um, you know he's able to to catch his look ball at, and stride. Look at the eyes on the really quarterback. Know they play his own. Um, you know, touchdown Hawks. I'm going to show this one from the back view to start. Uh, the score is 21-7 with four and a half minutes left in the fourth. So he says 21. You know, we'd love to to score again, but really the goal the at this point is to use as much that. clock as we possibly can. Uh, again, because we have a really good defense and um, we want to limit the time their offense can be on the field, but it sure makes it easy when we uh, can score. And this, again, starts up front. These guys do an outstanding job of running this Look at that boy, pressure, TG. Which, out of there. Uh, we want it out to do, there. but it doesn't make it easy. See, I thought TG was a fluke, man. That man was an all-conference first teamer, I think. Or I think he was the best running back in the conference last season. So, bro. Y'all play around with that boy TG, man, if y'all want to, man. He's not one of them, TG 1-5. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a power play, um, but you, know, you look all around, you've got guys doing really, really like, good look stuff. Look at that, man, you know, bouncing Mark off Hallenberger, the top. Our right tackle coming up. Oh, he ain't go down. And he hole, ain't a snub. You know, shot pulling, knocking this guy. The whole, uh, the right guard in the center. You know them boys really don't want to hit. Well. They ain't used to that snow. And then it becomes, uh, it becomes T good being T good. Um, you they know, call him T Good. Uh -huh. Pretty outstanding. T Good. Pretty outstanding I call him TG. Um, you know, he's able to, to bounce off one tackle, uh, and then he jukes another one out, and then he outruns the rest. Um, that's pretty special. I said, you know, like, I'll go to the wide <laughs> to really show it, but you got, you got everyone hustling. And, uh, Dang, that's, bro, look at the difference, though. They're playing in Iowa, but look at the difference, man. Ain't no people in the stands out here, bro. Look like, it look like some folk up here, bro, but can it? Kinnick ain't had nobody in the stadium last year. Now you see what the big difference is playing in this season and how great it is playing this year. Got them fans back. It make a difference. down there, it's pretty, pretty cool to see. This was an awesome, awesome play, awesome moment. But we'll highlight Tyler Linderbaum. You know, he's about 295 pounds. Uh, he said Tyler Linderbaum, that's one of their they, they best linemen. He said, look, look at him. Look how he behind TG. Just fast. Just fast, bro. I won't say he's keeping up with T good, but he's holding his own, and that's that's pretty cool. Uh, but we're all fired up. Mark Hallenberger's running down as well. I believe that's Cole Manwood. Um, yeah, sure. This is a great play. Great play for the Hawks. I basically sealed yeah. the win. So yeah. that was a fun one. Yeah, um, you know, I think anyone that's on the team uh, now obviously is excited to get back on the field. But I think especially those that were members of the 2020 uh team it's just it was a tough way to, to to end just because we prepared and prepared for oh if you look in the background i think it's the quarterback room probably the quarterback film room. just looking at some little detail look at the right michigan and trees and in the back for, looking good. Uh, uh, missouri I ain't gonna hold and have the the, the plug <laughs> pulled is unfortunate and um but it's just kind of the nature of last year and i think uh there were a lot bigger things going on in our country other than our, our football games but uh it's never fun to to end on a on a no contest type deal um, yeah, that's but right kind of the nature of last year, you know, a lot of, a lot of starts and stops, and a lot of things out of our control that really, um, you know, really impacted our season. But, um, you know, I, I know we'll be, we're all excited for September fourth, and it'll be, it'll be great to get back out there. In front mm -hmm. of hey, I know. Right, brief little ass got him out of the way. Oh, it's, it's practice yeah, time, right, 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 right. Hey, see this, this right here when you when you an athlete too, man, practice. I ain't going to lie, bro. Practice is the biggest, you know what I'm saying? You got AI talking about practice, you know what I'm saying? But, but listen, bro, practice, bro, that's like one of the the best places you can you can make all your mistakes. You can make all your perfect, you know what I'm saying? 
you, uh, everything you do gonna be perfect. Or sometimes it ain't gonna be perfect. And sometimes you might get exposed, man. But ain't nothing wrong with trying to get better, bro. See, practice, man, where you had it, it's even funner than the game sometimes. But you gotta come in there with the mentality, bro, that you you trying to work, trying to get better. You got a goal, probably for yourself and for the team. So. You know what I'm saying? Even talking to your people, bro. That's like, like you got to get along with your folk, man. Get along with your brothers, man, and try to be a leader at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like the best people, the best people uh, who are the best leaders, they 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 show how hard they practice and how hard they take it seriously, cause it's the best part of your craft that you need to like. That's where you want to work on your craft for real, for real. So I feel like as an athlete, bro, you want to go and uh, set the tone on practice, bro. Set the tone, bro. Do you might you. have to, bro. I just don't know about that one. <laughs> That's your boy Tyrone Tracy Ooh. right there, number three. Man, I'm the I'm the biggest circle here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Having that. Yes, nah. Let's go, Reds. Come on. Let's go. Look at that, man. Look how I'm go, having Jamar, fun, have bro. Practicing to be the Every best. Day. Every look, day. Look in the background. Every day. It. Let's go, T-Raw. Okay. Let's have go. Oh. He got anger issues. That's what it is. <laughs> he, be, he be laying all out this drill. This man got anger. No more Told you. What we're working here, as you notice, when we work with this against the wide receiver coach, if, even ah. if we beat him off the line of scrimmage, what's the second thing they do? Crap. Crap. So what they do is what they're trained to do, right? So what this drill is teaching you to do is, first of all, get released off the first level. Bam, bam, whatever. However, whatever tool you use, get off of it. But the second part of the drill is right here, all right? So when you get released... So if you, hey, listen, if you a wide receiver, you play football, man, listen to what little, little Coach Cootland got to say. You feel me? Coach Cootland ain't going to tell you nothing wrong, man. Listen, just listen. Keep that guy. He's trained to grab a shoulder pad, grab a hip, whatever he can. So as you get through the first level, I need you to get back on top. That's why this alley is so small. It's stacked in the finish. The second part of it is, these arms right here are to train you to get the hand off the hip, get the hand off the shoulder pad. Mm. All right, so it's forcing you to stay low, stay skinny, and be physical and active with my hands as I come through. Everybody got me there. I ain't going to lie, man. Cool, cool and lie. He supposed to be on offensive line, big ass arm. Look at it, man. What he doing with the wide receiver? He can't. He, 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 he also don't be like he can't catch a football no more. He ain't catch bowling ball for a living. <laughs> with them skinny ass legs. <laughs> oh, that boy Tyrone Tracy get out the way. Get away. There you go. There you go. Let's go. Hey, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up real quick. Before we get, bring it up real quick. Look, look at bro being a leader. What I was just telling y'all about, bro. Bro being a leader, bro. Check him out now. I ain't gonna tell you nothing wrong now. Let's go, man. We go out here, man. It's one on us. One on us. Come on. We running routes against, against ourselves, man. Running best routes. Work on your stuff. Work on your craft. Work on your art. Let's go. Out wide on three. One, two, three. Out You gonna see? You wanna send it? Huh? You wanna go fail? I'm loving the environment Iowa got going. Look like the DBs out there practicing, not putting their hands on them. Just trying to stay in front. Cabra ain't put no contact on them. Good grab! Good grab! Silver, silver, silver. Good grab! Come on now. Dot him. I look like the ones I be throwing. He said, oh, yeah. <laughs> he gets mad so easily. Jit low. Oh yeah. But oh, that's the backup right Oh now. yeah! Oh yeah, Dad! Yeah, yeah Dad! Yeah! Ooh. Yeah! Let's go. That must do win. That must be win. Let's go, right man. Let's go, man. Black team on top. <laughs> Bucks 31. Takes two, Tyrone. Side. Blue 80. Blue 80 hide. Here we go. Side. Blue 80. Blue 80 hide. Okay. <laughs> Damn, he caught that? Great catch, T. Hey, that's the way to be smart, bro. For third and four, great job. Great job. Man, he caught that? Oh, they got the little yep. machine, boy. Get right. Started off by a little slow, but... 
the, the, the way he doing with his hands, he, he imitating how he running and then be ready to catch the football too. I need a, a I like transition that. mode. I like I that. Think the first days was definitely Them boys a getting, mode. Them boys getting that so work, that now after the work in, after practice. That's what you gotta do and too, bro. Sacrifice. You know, trying to stack one day on onto another. He gonna make it to the league. Last, last season for he me, I think could have went a little bit better. Um, but for the team, I think we did a great job finishing strong. Uh, we started out 0 2, but we finished 6 0. Um, you know, we let two teams slide at the end, but uh, I definitely think that um, going from last year to this year was a uh, big jump, and uh, we still building on day to day. First and foremost, we want to go undefeated, uh, Big Ten Championship. Yee. But, I mean, a couple personal goals I want. Look at that boy Riley Moss Ten, getting at the again. Uh, best wide receiver in the Big Ten. Um, I yeah, think Tyler. I have the like, skills and capability to do it, and I have you do, bro. You know, the offense to do it. You know, he have definitely a good running do. back, good tight end, good old line, um, good quarterback, and a good uh, coaching staff. So, uh, if any year, I think this year, this, this year is the year. Mm -hmm. So, Paul Guy fans, this is Tyler Linderbaum, uh, Iowa Hawkeyes offensive lineman. Yeah. I'm just gonna explain here what we have here at the refuel station. We're very the fortunate as players uh, to have a lot of options. I need me some um, Iowa Hawkeyes. Um, that our, black and yellow uh, meals. hard, man. We get one to two meals every day, especially during this fall camp time. We get fed a lot. Even the trash but, can yellow um, one black over there. You know, need to fill in <laughs> those gaps in the times that we aren't getting fed. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through kind of our options and what we have here. Um, so we have a wide variety of options. We have a lot of choices from fruits, any fruits that you can name. Um, yeah, you know, if you go to the healthy side, you got salads, sandwiches, and stuff like that. Over here, um, there's a oh, lot of a uh, bars, options, anything you can name. Um, a lot of good options for guys who are trying to gain weight, trying to put on uh, the weight that they need when they first get here. Um, so when we go over here, we have a, a big options of, you know, there's stuff for breakfast. A lot of guys come in, grab oatmeals, um, grab bananas, apples, oranges, a lot of fresh fruit that we get every day. And then um, some other supplements, um, just to, you know, if you need an energy boost, you have that option. And then over here, um, a lot of hydration stuff, mm -hmm. uh, whether that be- uh, See bro, that's another intricate part of being an athlete. You gotta take care of your body, bro. Put nutrients, protein, get, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the things that you you hear this man saying, man, even get you some electrolytes, you know what I'm saying? Get you the vitamins. See, the, like you gotta take care of your body, man. Make sure your muscles relax. You know what I'm saying? Get you some stretch. It's a stretch. You need to stretch, warm up, take proper care of your body, man. You know, drip drop the right stuff, just stuff to keep you hydrated, uh, especially when it's hot and it's almost 90 degrees out in fall camp. And then you have your vitamins options, uh, which is important to get your vitamins in. Um, a big thing that you know a lot of guys you know, utilize this for is the protein shakes. Um, and mostly the shakes that we get after our meals and during the day, um, you get an option of a veggie, uh, a berry, and then a chocolate shake. I'm gonna get a veggie shake today uh, out of the options. Um, the other options are a berry and then a chocolate shake. Uh, the veggie <laughs> shake is good for guys who are gaining weight or trying to lose weight. Um, it's important to get your veggies in and this is just kind of a supplement for us to uh, get our veggies in every day. So. These shakes are pre-made every morning. Um, we got a lot of hard workers that come in early in the morning that make it for the players. Um, without them, this wouldn't be possible, so we thank them for that. Mm. And here's our veggie shake. Go Hawks. Go. Ooh. Hey. Hey now. Get right at practice. Hey this, look, this look like an early this morning practice. Are made of. <laughs> I can sing a little bit. Just yeah, funny hell, bro. Just a tad. Yeah, but that boy Matt Hankins, man, that man's a demon. Look at him. Look at him. Get it by any means. Hey, you got strong hand, bro. I was trying to rip that bit. Yeah, <laughs> I was trying to rip that bit. <laughs> I gotta play more underneath, though. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, there. yeah. I was too high. Come on. All right. All right. All right. Oh, that's Desmond Hudson. He going against. Oh, good D. He's all over him. Appreciate it. And he got that little strap hey, on his tendon, man. I know how it feels, right bro. Hey, 
Just keep your head where your feet at, all right? Don't think about tomorrow. Don't think about no break. Let's finish the day. Let's finish strong. Go, boys, on two. Work on four. One, two. Go, boys. Three, four. Work. Yeah. Ooh. Come on. Ooh. Hey, hey they don't get in. Let's shut them down. Look at the DBs, man. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Charlie Jones. Boy, that boy got some hands on him. I think that was a touchdown, though. Stop playing with me. That's strap. Bro, I think that was a touchdown on my boy, man. I ain't gonna lie. Charlie Jones got you on that one, I think. I think. Let me, let me go on, rewind the tape. I think he got you, though, brother. Oh, uh, nah, he ain't. Bro, almost, bro. He had a foot in there, too. Stop playing with me. Oh, good deal. Stop playing with me. That's strap. Scrap. Seat belt. Seat belt. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Him, Jake Corner. Cor yeah, real good. You know, a lot of competition name. going back and Jack. forth. Um, Jack, hey, hey. I think for I like me, my boy safety. on the offensive side who stood out most to me was uh, the new running back, LaShawn. Uh, we call him Boogie. But, uh, you know, that's that's a... He got big shoes to fill right now, but uh, that's that's a, a a good guy to look for. And then in the DB room, I would say uh, my past roommate uh, Jamari. Um, you know, I can just tell he been in the film room a lot. So Jamari Harris uh, putting in the work that he needs to, and okay. it's showing on the field right now during practice. So uh, just knowing that 100% capacity, you know, excited to play in front of the fans again. You know, it's gonna be a 100%. good time. But that uh, jacket is hard, have a bro. Good season and just. I need me Keep a hard, I need some hard gear, bro. Really just grow together and have that tight knit bond that, you know, no, no matter what happens, uh, oh, whether we're down in the fourth quarter boy, or we're up, play. just trying to stay connected, you know, through all the highs and the lows during the season. Don't turn your back on one another. Yeah, I like it. I love it, really. Yeah, this, the all guy coach, man, is, I like it. I like it already. This episode one, season three debut. Oh, oh, in the Heartland. Oh, that's not the Heartland. The Heartland is the other one, I think. So, you know, it's uh, game week finally. Uh oh, Coach. And uh, it's always exciting Coach anytime Kurt. you get the beginning of a new season. You know, it's a big, big deal for sure. And uh, I think we're coming off a pretty productive camp. And his so son it's good on to the coach's to style, too. Players, be on they the say field old, old coordinator. Being, being a good routine. And, and uh, uh, tight I think ends. we've seen a lot of group uh, growth, both individually and, and collectively. Um, you know, but really now the big question is how is it going to translate to – uh, playing a football game. So it's an exciting time for all of us, I think. Uh, with that excitement comes a lot of, uh, you know. He slick, like, remind me of Nick Saban, low key. Like, they, how they look in the face, like, them boy, hey, them boy serious about their craft. Anxious, like, Coach just Kurt, does some nerves as well. And probably feel like most coaches in America, most players in America, you know, we need to play a football game right now and just find out where we're at and learn a little bit more about ourselves. and. And then, you know, we got a lot of guys that haven't played or haven't played in front of fans, live well, fans. Like so Nick, it's going to be a new experience for them. And, uh, just really eager and uh, kind of anxious to Iowa see how they, they respond on Saturday, see how they play, and especially uh, considering who we're playing against. So, uh, and then turn our attention to Indiana. We're looking at a veteran team, a really mm, uh, a good yeah, football yeah, team. Yeah, They're good in all three phases. So they've got a lot of good veteran players back. They've also added a significant amount of grad transfers that we don't know a lot about, but and how they'll factor into the equation. Uh, but what we do know is that these, these guys are a really well-coached uh, football team in all areas. Uh, they've played extremely well, had two, uh, two very successful seasons the last two years. And it just goes back, Coach Allen, uh, when he took over, had a, a clear vision, and uh, he and his staff have done a really great job uh, not only having a vision, but like a little really, coaching, really good little, football little program. Uh, we're going to see a really good team on Saturdays. Too, right. This has been a presentation from Learfield. Yeah, so it's over, man. That's going to wrap up, man. The first little episode of season three of the Heartland preseason, or the Heartland show. 
But the Heartland series, man, you know what I'm saying? Real reactions, man. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen these before. So I'm really excited, bro. I ain't even do this for the Florida Gator squad. You know, I'm rocking with my Hawkeyes, too. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, this is a really good video, bro. If you a Hawkeye Nation fan, man, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and say, go Hawks, drop an eagle, man. Like it up. Like it up, man. Let me know where y'all at, man. Sub to the channel, man. I know who it is. Mr. Kid, man. I'm out, G.